Okay, I have my trash bag and I'm gonna scrunch it up in the middle like I have done here. And I have um, colorings and no yoking. And I'm just gonna spritz a bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my background paper and I'm gonna turn it upside down. Pat once, I just want it right there in the middle. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to fold over my trash bag real quick. I wanna just add just a little bit more color. What I'm gonna do is I got Sunset Strip here in Vibes. And I'm going to twist off the knot and just kind of pull a little bit up in by kind of hitting the pumper. And I'm going to just press the nozzle back down and it's going to put the, some little dots, some bigger ones in if you just were to flick the nozzle. Okay, I'm going to pull some in and then of course you can flick if you want a bunch of little dots. I want to get some little dots on here. Alright, and we're going to take that uh, background paper that we just had and we're going to set it right back down on it. Boop. Get a couple of those little orange colors and now we have some of the orange flux. Okay. Alright, now I've got a piece of cotton tape from Prima and I'm going to use colorings in Mandarin My Time and we're going to make an ombre effect. So we want the darker color here on the edge, so I'm just going to go ahead and spritz that. Okay, just like that. And then um, I'm going to use the no yoking and colorings that we were using just a second ago and kind of just go right next to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush. brushes here. And I'm just going to kind of brush and kind of pull that color through. Just just towards the end here because you want it to really just kind of fade. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a second. On my ribbon strip, and to uh, go ahead and add just a little something extra to this, I want it to go this way, um, and I'll turn it here so you get the right direction that I'm heading in. And I want that towards the top and kind of in the center, because it'll give us a little bit more definition, kind of a fun little detail to our page. See, so just like that. And now I'm going to take that plastic bag away for a moment. And grab yourself a palette knife um, or a credit card, whichever really uh, you want to work with. I am going to use this uh, mask from um, Crafters Workshop. Just a bunch of numbers and stuff like that. And I only want to do part of it. And I'm going to have a photo and the gauze in here. So what I want to do is just kind of bring this up towards the top, and I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Get some molding paste on your spatula, and I'm just going to kind of hold my uh, template in place and spread some of my molding paste. 